like all of the leaked images we've seen, so it still has a plastic case. Um, the side has a slightly shinier polycarbonate bezel, it looks like. Uh, one thing you'll notice immediately is that the screen is actually pretty bright. Uh, it seems even brighter than the Galaxy S3, and honestly even more, uh, more sharp. This is a 1080p display. So here the home screen looks about the same as normal, taskbar, same as Galaxy S3, but there are some cool software features here. Uh, they've added the hover ability that was on the Galaxy Note uh, 2 and 10.1, so now you could just kind of hold your finger slightly above the display, so like it's a couple, couple centimeters, and you can unlock more information. This is like uh, just the text messages. It's kind of interesting. Um, actually taking advantage of a similar feature uh, in the web browser here. So you can actually, taking advantage of the proximity sensor, you could just wave your hand over the phone to move between tabs, do different things. When you're pl playing music, you could do the same thing as well. Uh, in comparison to the Galaxy S3, not really that noticeable at first glance. This is the S3 right here. Um, the S5, even or the S4, even though it has a bigger screen, it actually feels lighter. Feels a little more comfortable in your hand. And this is the Galaxy S, uh, the Galaxy Note 2, for comparison. So, Note 2, Galaxy S4, Galaxy S3. Throw an iPhone 5 in there for good measure. Kind of interesting how this phone still manages to be comfortable while also being pretty big. Uh, Samsung is also. Do you have more than one tap? I do have two. Okay. There we go. Samsung is also spending a lot of time on the camera software here. So they've added a new feature, which is kind of interesting. They've added the new, a new feature to actually use both the front and rear camera at the same time. So this is me taking this video and my finger over it, but and rear video. So you can actually take photos like this. You can take videos like this, which is just really interesting use of the. Uh, front and rear panels at the same time. You can also do video chats like this. So here are a few examples of how you can use the dual camera feature. This is a video that was just pre-loaded and it shows there. Somebody using the front camera and the rear camera at the same time. I figure this is actually shot with the Galaxy S4 but it can't really tell. Here's another interesting use of the dual cameras. You can actually just go side by side, like here. Could be really useful for interviews. Another thing Samsung's focusing on is health with this phone. So there's a new S Health app, which can actually uh, track the steps you've taken, track stairs you've climbed, and basically do like a lot of what are the body health, um, the health tech uh, gadgets are doing right now. So this one hasn't really been used much, but it also has sensors for humid humidity. Both <laughs> things.